Hi, this is Anna Goji here. Gonna play a song, gonna do it blind. Here we go. Fuck, I gotta find that song. How can you see into my eyes like open door? Me when you down to my soul when I become so numb me feel the soul the spirit leaving my home until you find in me in my Wake me up, wake me up and so I can wake up Wake me up and save her, call my name and save me from the Lord Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up Before I come undone, save her, save me from the nothing I'm without Now that you know what I'm without you can't just leave me Breathe into me and make me real Bring me to life Wake me up, wake me up and so I can wake up Wake me up and so I save me Oh my name, save me from the Wake me up, wake me up and so Before I come on and save her Save me from the nothing I'm with Bring me to her. I'm living a lie There's nothing inside Bring me to Phones inside without your touch Now you love, darling Oh, you Not a life but a lie I'm a pants on, I can't believe I couldn't see Kept in the dark, but you were never part of me I've been sweeping a thousand years of scenes Not so familiar that song, that a uh, soul Maybe we die here Bring me to the Wake me up, wake me up inside me yeah, Wake up, wake me up inside Save, call my name and save me from the dawn Wake me up, bring me back to life Wake up, before I come out and save her Save me from the nothing I'm without Bring me to a... I've been living a lie There's nothing at all Bring me to a... Okay, that took me forever. I literally, I'm not gonna go into it. Let's just say I had to do many takes for a song, for another song that I was doing, and oh boy, it took me forever. Anyway, that was the intro. It was a very long intro, but here's an intro. And here's an update on my channel. If you're not knowing what's going on, my channel, it's basically just come a game play channel which eh, I kind of into because some people do come in like half the streams I do mostly they got a war and FNAF ones and not poor games I probably start doing God of War and poor games more often but anyway 
These games are the games I played are pretty good. Even though even though there was a couple that I've liked that I don't like. Like mm, I do think Fortnite's overrated, Dungan Rumba one it's pretty good. Uh Call of Duty Vanguard eh, it's hit and miss, but it's not bad. It's hard as fuck, but not bad. I'm not even gonna get on how many times it took me to do the airplay run. Oh my god. Should probably finish that series. Right now I'm playing God of War or I think it's gonna be God of War that's gonna win. Then FNAF Security Breach is gonna be in second. On a poor Twitter that I did. Anyway. But let's get into the topic of the video. Today we are discussing Godzilla. As you can tell, this is a big deal. We haven't gotten zip, nada, nothing from since GV came up, come out. Which was like, what, almost a year ago? I don't think we're going to get anything anytime soon. The earliest we're going to get it is like, I don't know, year anniversary after GVK. That'll probably be like the perfect time to get it because it'll be a year anniversary for GVK. But let's be real, all the anniversaries for the Monster Verse have never had dates. Maybe King of the Monsters? No, not King of the Monsters. I don't think we got a. Well, we just got a new banner for its restate for King of the Monsters. We got nothing but banners for a while for GBK. But for the next phase of the Monster Verse and phase 2, whatever. We literally haven't gotten nada. Maybe it's because they're working something out with Toho about the licensing. And that's why it's taking so long because they're in a room discussing what they're going to do with Godzilla. Whether they should keep him or not. That's probably why it's taking so long. Because they're probably... It's either that or something big is going to happen. Like, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. It could be that... It's probably, I think it's probably obvious that it's going to be another Kong film. As much as I would like to see it's another Monster Verse film, it's most likely that's not going to happen. Because it would be easier just to do a Kong film, even though I don't want it to go that route. Like, Let's be real. The Monster Verse is owned by Godzilla. Even though Kong is started in GBK, it's two popular icons. That's why it did so well. And all the films have been successful. Yes, I know. People say that King of the Monsters didn't do that well, but. And I'm not gonna lie, it didn't do that well, but it didn't do that bad. It made money. Not as much as its budget, but it still made money. It didn't flop. It wasn't like a big old bomb. It still made money. I know people say it didn't. It's like, oh no, it didn't make money. It flopped. I'm like, no, it made money. Like, come on, it made money on DVD sales and everything. How did it not make money? And I'm pretty sure a lot of people saw it in theaters. Like I remember watching, like every week after King of the Monsters, every weekend after it got higher and higher. I believe it even reached like 100 million. And then I think last weekend started. I think it goes up to like 200 million dollars at the box office. So it didn't do bad. I don't know why people keep on missing that. And that's just worldwide. I'm not talking about this mess. This mess. We it did do well. I think it made like 400 million something. I don't know. I gotta look it up. But I know it's like 400 million. I think it was 400 million. I can't remember. I know the number. I just can't remember right now. I think it's like 400 million. Over 400 million at the box office worldwide. I think it was. I can't remember. I think it was either 200 million or 400. I think it was 250 million 
worldwide box office. Anyway, I'm not going to talk of how much it made. Let's just say it made a lot of money. So all the films with Godzilla has been successful. Consco Islands probably the highest grossing monster first film. And GVK is also the highest grossing. This is the second. Then 2014, but to be real, 2014 is what started the MonsterVerse, and from the looks of it, they're probably thinking whether they should keep Godzilla or not. But we haven't, we don't know because we haven't heard anything, but maybe they're discussing a deal of being, I don't know, more kaijus into it. Like, maybe they're discussing a deal to bring in... I don't know, Destroyer, Bailante, Gagan, something like that. Like, if I was going to bring in, that's probably what they're doing, is trying to see if they're bringing in, if they should bring in more monsters or not. Like, like how are you going to continue the next movie? Like, how are you going to do another Godzilla movie without monsters, without... You can't just keep on making new monsters and spend the general audience trying to make you assume it's like, oh look, a new monster. I don't think the general audience is gonna go for that. And I know people say the general audience don't really care about the whole monsters, but let's be real. General audience don't give a fuck. Ugh. But anyway, I don't think I think GVK I think that's Monster First film. It's probably going to be a GVK two, another rematch. Even though we just got a rematch, you know that it's going to be another team up, which I really don't want. This reveal, Godzilla and Kong in the same movie fighting together doesn't doesn't have the same punch. If they're going to do another Godzilla and Kong film, they should have them fight and then have them fight another big threat. They don't team up. They I don't know. Should probably do. S- I didn't really like the team up that they had at the end. It kind of. I wish it went down as a three way battle. With Godzilla vs. Kong versus my Godzilla, see who will come out on top. I wish they would do that for another film. That would be a cool idea because we never actually seen like a one on one on one battle. Three monsters all fighting against each other. We never really seen that before. It was kind of in Godzilla Tokyo SOS, kinda. You know, Martha teamed up with my Godzilla, but it wasn't really like Martha was on the side. But let's be real, that movie me is me. Anyway, I don't think. I don't think we're gonna get anything anytime soon. The earliest we're gonna get some information is probably March, I guess. And if it's not March, it's probably gonna be sometime in July. And at the latest, I think it's gonna be around. I know this is a country day, but if you don't hear anything by July, the closest thing we're gonna hear is probably. If we don't hear it by November 3rd of. Uh, this year, I think the monster first is dead. Yeah, to be honest. But if the monster first continues or not, I. If it doesn't continue, I'm satisfied because we got GBK. Probably one of the best monster first films. It's kind of debated on which one's better. Well, all the monster first films are good except for Godzilla 2014. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Godzilla 2014. The other ones are good, though. I'm just not a big fan of 2014. <laughs> but, uh, but the other Godzilla movies could be possibly good. But I think Toho wants to get him back, give Godzilla back, because they need him to make money. And with the stuff that they're doing, they're not making. Let's be real. I think because of the single point, the hype train was pretty good. 
Like I remember watching that every week when it came out. Then binge watching it. Then binge watching the dub. I remember watching it sub and dub. And then watching it with my mom see what her thoughts was and she actually liked it. So and she's in let's be real. And Godzilla single point. But probably gonna if we're gonna get something from Toho, it's probably gonna be Godzilla single point season two or a movie something with Godzilla single point rated, maybe a Godzilla single point movie or season two. But I really want a Godzilla movie, a Godzilla movie, something, something with Godzilla. But it looks like we're not going to get that anytime soon. I think the closest thing we're going to get to the Godzilla property is Godzilla vs. Zidor for the 67th anniversary. That's the closest thing we're going to get to a Toho Godzilla property. And to be honest, I think I'm satisfied there. The monster is probably gone or something. I don't think the monster is going to continue. To be honest. We don't hear anything from by March to November 3rd. I think. I think the monster is dead. Yeah. Then we should be worried. Or maybe they're discussing deals. So maybe I'm being too worried maybe it's gonna take a little bit longer like we're gonna have to wait until 2023 and at the latest 2024 might be might be eternity before we hear again like I expect something to come out this year because it is Toho's anniversary this year so we might hear something this year regarding Godzilla because they're gonna do something big for Toho's Godzilla, like think about it, they did for Godzilla's city two universe for Toho's anniversary, they did King Kong with Godzilla. So it makes sense to do it this year. Oh, I just realized it is King Kong versus Godzilla's city of anniversary. Wow, I feel old. Wait, I think it's 50. Wait, it is 60. <laughs> so, if they were going to do something Godzilla vs. Kong, where they, they should do it this year. Because not only it will be the one year anniversary of GVK, it will also be the 60th anniversary of King Kong vs. Godzilla. This would be the perfect year to do an announcement. Like, if they don't do it now, between now and November 3rd, it's kind of, we should be worried that there won't be no more <laughs> first films. We'll probably get the score in an anime or the rumored monarch, question mark, TV, HBO Max show that was only mentioned once in the Let's go ahead and anime. That was also only mentioned once. We know we're getting comics. That's basically it. Comics and novels. But we have no idea what's in store for the months first. Well, at least we got one good news. The continuing Playmates. The Playmates line for Godzilla vs. Kong. I don't know what else you can do with that. Maybe... They have like recycled monsters from playmates. I guess that's what they can do. But to be honest, the playmate figures suck. <laughs> I prefer Bandai. But anyway, this is Anagoji signing off. And remember, stay bedgy, fans.